uh, uh, it wasn't uh, just our doing. They played that well. You know, they played that well. And, um, and, and again, my hat's off to them. They, uh, um, y you just have to give them a lot, a lot of credit uh, for hanging in there. And there was some game pressure on them when we came back. And they seemed to always have, a, have an answer. And they, they were very bold. They were very bold the entire game. And I thought we started the game tentative. And uh, at different times, we just seemed very tentative on the offensive end. And uh, they were bold throughout, and uh, bold won. Questions? Can please raise your hand. Let us get the handheld mic to you. And a uh, question for the student athletes. <clears throat> Who has the first question? Middle of the room. Any questions for Mason or Miles? First one right here in the front. Wait for the microphone, please. Uh, what was the most difficult part of facing Lehigh in the tournament? I mean, I just assume you guys didn't know like a lot about them going into it from, I don't know. What was like the hardest part about taking them or challenging them? Mason. Um, well, we knew about them. Um, we watched a lot of film. Um, we knew they were a good team. Um, we just, um, McCollum really led them and played well. Um, if he wasn't scoring himself, he was helping other people get open. Um, we didn't guard the ball screen very well, and he got a lot of stuff off of that. But it wasn't a, a matter of we didn't know them. We had plenty of preparation. Um, we took care of that, that end of it. It just didn't translate to the game. To our right. Thank you. Uh, this is for Miles. Uh, Adam Sopsi from the Independent Weekly. Miles, I know this is your last game. It's a disappointing way to go out, obviously. But if you were, uh, if you were to meet a freshman coming into Duke, or maybe you already have, uh, what would you tell him about the things that he can expect being a, a Duke basketball player? Um, I mean, firstly, I'd tell them you're, you're becoming part of a family and um, you, we, got, we got the best, uh, best coaches, best staff, I mean, just best everything and you got to make the most of it. You got to bond with your teammates, um, then you become your brothers on the court and um, just never let anyone down and you're going to have a great time, but tonight like tonight, you know. It's tough. Back left. Tom Welburn, WBFT. Uh, Miles had the opportunity to watch you now for the last last several years. Says, uh, I know it's a disappointment tonight, but you look back upon your your career. Is it just too soon to to just think about everything that you and your teammates have accomplished over your tenure at Duke? Yeah, um, I've been a part of some amazing teams and had some amazing accomplishments, but, you know, people remember you for how you leave, and this isn't how I wanted to leave. Any other questions for student athletes? To our left on the aisle. Coach talked about you being tentative at the beginning. Can you, as a player, talk about what that – what was going on at the beginning? What was you feeling like? Why do you think you were tentative if that's what you felt like? Mason? I don't have an explanation. Um, we should have addressed it. We should have gotten on one another. But um, for whatever reason, we couldn't, we couldn't get in sync um, offensively in particular. It's just not good when you aren't working together and um, you aren't in sync. It's hard to beat a good team. And, um, they were together and they played well tonight. Middle of the room. Coach mentioned how, how tough Lehigh played on defense. Can you just talk about some of the things they were doing to you guys to make things obviously difficult for you out there? Miles? I mean, they just played tough, hard-nosed defense. Um, they were denying the post, denying the passing lanes, um, playing physical, crashing the boards. Um, I mean, that's what you expect. You know, a lot of us have been through this before, and that's what every team brings in the tournament. And, uh, I mean, we needed to match that from the get-go. Mason? 
Yeah, um, like Miles said, obviously they had a week to prepare, as did we. And um, I think their game plan was to, to take away our outside shooting, um, really get in on our guards, and um, they really uh, plugged in the lane well. Anyone else for Mason or Miles? I think there's a question in the back of the room. A uh, question for Mason. Uh, you were nine for nine from the field during the game. Do you feel like you should have gotten the ball more? No. Um, if I didn't get the ball, that was on me. Um, Tyler, Tyler and other guys were looking for me. Um, I, I had my opportunities. It wasn't about me. Um, you know, we, we needed to get scores as a team. And um, we, we went about that the best way we knew how. Anyone else? Okay, thanks, guys. Congratulations on a great year. Head back to the locker room. Okay, questions for Coach? <clears throat> Coach Mark James, CBS Radio, WFNZ in Charlotte. You look back at this loss. I know the emotions coming off this loss, but do you think – Looking over your 37 years coaching, this might be the toughest loss in your career? Well, for me, the next loss is the toughest. So this is the next one. You know, the, the worst loss I've ever had as a coach was with our national team and the world championships in 2006 to Greece. Because that was for my country and you don't get too many of them. Um, although that's the only loss we've had. You know, uh, so... For me, you know, my program, it, you're on a continuum. You know, there are four years that we ended up with a win. You know, in my 37 years. It's not football where you have a bowl game and 35 people end up with a win out of 100. Uh, so when that loss comes and how it's inflicted, you, you just take responsibility for it. I, I think overall my team did a great job this year but we did not do a real good job this last week and a half. And so that's upsetting, you know, because no matter what happens, injury or whatever, you, you should, you know, you, you're responsible for trying to figure out a way that your team can play well, and so that's on me. But, uh, um, yeah, it's tough to, I don't like to grade losses, it just because this is the ending of the season, it's, it's particularly tough. But we lost to a really good team. I mean, uh, uh, and that kid is really good. McCollum is one of the better players we played against, and uh, they're well coached. And so I, I know we lost to a, a really good program and a team that's playing uh, at their best. Viv Bernstein, New York Times. Um, were you out of sync offensively in part because Ryan Kelly wasn't there? And talk about his absence. Well, yeah, but I don't want to blame it. You know, we've had a week after the ACC tournament to prepare, and we did prepare certain things, but we didn't execute them. You know, <clears throat> at this time of the year, you, you should be as instinctive as possible. And when you introduce something new at this time of the year, there's a tendency not to be in sync, especially with the pressure of the game or how well a team is playing against you. And, and that, to me, added to the, you know, being tentative. And, you know, you can, be, you can flow real easy and practice uh, with some of the new things. But it, it, there's just all, you know, it's a, it's a different ball game, you know, when you're actually out there. And that's just, that go, goes with the game, though. I mean, you know, that's part of the game. We just were not, like, instinctive. We, there were spurts that we had, but the last three ball games, you know, we've been just kind of mucking it out and uh, offensively and it, it, again tonight. <clears throat> Mike, your team played really, really well down at Florida State. And it seemed like the, the games after that, you know, were, were games that, that were not your best. Is there something that maybe you can put your finger on why, why the, the game did not progress in those last games of the season? No, we played well in, in other games or in spurts of games or else we wouldn't have won 
we would have lost all the games. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah. We, yeah, we have not shot well for about three weeks. And we weren't shooting well when Ryan was in. And then when he went out, then we, you know, we continued not to shoot well. And, um, you know, we're not this, you know, we're not, a, you know, we're, we're not a juggernaut or anything like that. We've known that, you know, throughout the whole season. You have to do it uh, pretty precise and, uh, you know, we just didn't play well offensively the last few weeks of the season. Actually, we got better defensively. But uh, offensively, you know, we just weren't there. Oh, Coach, uh, Roger Bond, Slam Magazine. Um, I was just curious, what was your guys' defensive strategy against uh, C.J. McCollum? I saw you put four different defenders on him throughout the game, and we're doing a lot in terms of switching the screens with him coming off the ball. But uh, could you tell everyone specifically? Well, there are, there are numerous defensive strategies against him. He shot 24 times. He's 9 for 24. You know, we wanted him to be a volume shooter but not foul him. And so the fouls were the things that, you know, you see that ball going in with, with, uh, with the free throws. But uh, uh, you can always, look, we could do everything a little bit better. We didn't lose the game because of our defense. You know, we lost the game because of our offense and our, our lack of uh, precision on, on the offensive end. And, uh, and that kid just says, him being on the floor makes everybody better. So if we could have fouled him out or got him into foul trouble, that would have been the best strategy because he, he just makes people, he makes people better. When you are playing with an outstanding player, especially if he passes you the ball, you believe you should hit the shot. Because that, I mean, we've had that in our, in our program numerous times. You know, if Leitner passes to somebody, they, you know, I'm supposed to shoot it. And, uh, but the, the, we didn't lose because of defense tonight. Any other questions? All right. Thank okay, you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.